Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Pitch Talk. We are fans of football dropping vlogs, blogs, videos and podcasts on the beautiful game. Check out our videos on YouTube and Instagram's IGTV, including special feature segments, vlogs such as 5 Minutes with the G, The Straight Shooting View, Coaching with JBK, Audio on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Podomatic, Spotify, Mixcloud and other podcast platforms. Join the Pitch Talk revolution on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and our official website www.pitch-talk.com The pitch is where we eat The pitch is where we sleep And the pitch is where we talk Welcome to Coaching with JBK Welcome, it's yours truly JBK with another special it's another weekly roundup of the wsl but this time it will be in two parts not just one but two i'm going to start off with the sunday games because and only because i was at the north london derby that should tell you exactly how today is going to go and how we are going to roll through this okay so in my second round of conversations I'm not going to be speaking about the Saturday games to, um, at the moment, but what I will do is bring you all the round, um, the round of games from today. And on top of that, I'm going to be talking about the North London Derby and its importance. Just as fixture alone, its importance not only to the WSL, but also to the run-up to the FA Cup final. So, starting off with... Everton versus Manchester United. Early kickoff. Manchester United won. Well, Everton won. Manchester United won. Manchester United took the lead in the first 10 minutes of the game. And with 14 minutes to go, Elatoon getting the goal for Manchester United. But with 14 minutes to go, Simone McGill managing to get the goal to level it up. Well done to Everton for getting that result. Something that they desperately needed. And against one of the so-called top four from last season, they've managed to get it against Manchester United. Well done to Everton. Moving on. Birmingham City, D. Midlands, the second City derby. Birmingham City against Aston Villa. And the goal was scored in the first half. Now, I got a glimpse of this game. There were moments for Birmingham City from what I saw. But in the end, Asante's goal was all that Aston Villa needed to get the win against their rivals for the first, let me put that in context, the first time ever in a WSL. So it means that there's some big games coming through and we need to sit, and this is what the WSL was bringing, is big results, big results this year. Brighton and Hove Albion against Leicester City. Leicester City basically had three minutes to hold on to get their first point of the WSL season and they couldn't not easy not easy to take I understand that but well done to Leicester City they're getting closer that's what I will say they they are getting closer against Manchester City they were expected to lose just on the odds of being the fact that Manchester City are the the team that are normally at the top of the table year in year out Um, and I know that they've got injuries at the moment but Leicester City were in a position last week where anything can happen and hope that they can get the win from it against Brighton and Hove Albion another team that's been in the WSL from pretty much the inception from 2016 they've had their moments and guess what they got their goal they got their goal um, Simmons with the goal in the 93rd minute, giving Brighton and Hove Albion the win against Leicester City. What a time to get the goal. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. We move on. Manchester City against Chelsea. The FA Cup semi final replayed essentially in a WSL game. And it ruined, well, the result was even worse this time if you think about it only only three goals for man city the last time uh, for chelsea the last time now they get four that so we can see they've scored seven goals in two games against manchester city 
in the last two weeks, essentially. Tough. They haven't conceded any, but they've conceded to, they've conceded seven goals. It's tough for a team that's not got all their players back, that are playing a ruthless team that will try and hit you, not just on the counter-attack, but keep the ball as well. And it's just difficult. So, first goal was scored in the second minute. And that's tough for Man City. Fleming with a goal in the second minute. Next goal didn't come until uh, four minutes into adding on time at half time by Sam Kerr. Then Frank Kirby getting a goal six minutes after the break or seven minutes after the break. And the final goal was scored by Ericsson. Wow. Wow. Well, there's not much you can say to that because it means that the three goals were, con were conceded in three of the goals were conceded pretty much in the moments where you, you need to hang on, give yourself a bit of time just to get into the game. And the first goal doesn't really help you either. So it is what it is. Manchester City will roll on and hope that they get another, um, another, uh, another point on the board. But they are waiting dangerously at the bottom of the table at the moment with a lot of players still out. Tough, tough day for, um, for, for Man City. Great day for Chelsea. Moving on to West Ham United and Reading. I caught a little bit of this. Not too much because I was more interested in the, the Women's Championship. Caught two games of those and I'll explain those late. I'll speak about those in a minute. West Ham United 2, Reading 2. First goal coming from Evans on loan from Arsenal, getting the goal in the 19th minute. And then Fisk with another goal in the 35th minute, 10 minutes before half time. All of a sudden, Reading have found their true form and they've come back to get two goals. Stringer with the first, and it was a known goal from Stringer. And then Harry's with the second in the 92nd minute. What a time to score and get a result against West Ham United. Unbelievable. Wow. What a weekend of games. What a weekend of games. There are games there where you can go. There's some interesting ones. Interesting ones in a in a good sense. Or just ways where you can think. Will it go in that way? The way that you want it to? Probably not. But there might be a reason behind it. There might be a reason behind it. And what I'll say is. Most of the games that were played today, they weren't eye-catching in terms of results. But you can see that there's starting to become a few games that you can go, oh, okay. So this is what it looks like going forward. Um, and this is what it needs to be. Those results need to be that way and this is how it needs to go. For the first time ever, for the first time ever, and hopefully going forward... I'm going to round up the Women's Championship results. I'm going to try and round those up. So the first, the first of the games. So the first of the games was on the 14th of November. Durham, nil. Liverpool, two. Good result for top and, uh, top and second. Liverpool getting the, uh, the result there. London City Lionesses against Sheffield United was 1-0 to the London City Lionesses. What a game there. I watched Lewis against Coventry United. Coventry United had a lot of chances. They were a very good, out, a very good team, but they're on the wrong spot of the, of the championship table. And... Some will say the score didn't reflect the way the game was going in the first half. But second half, Lewis just ran away with it with a few more ch chances. To the point where the goalkeeper actually got player of the match. That says it all. Coventry, hadn't, Coventry just need to put their chances away and they'll probably climb off the table and um, climb off the bottom of the table very quickly. So well done to Lewis on that one. Coventry United just keep going. Keep going. Bristol City against Blackburn Rovers was a 3-0 win to Bristol City. Ashton Gate Stadium. What a game for Bristol City to get their result. And the final game 
was Watford 1, Sunderland 1. Sunderland had, watch this one as well, Sunderland had most of the ball in the first half. Second half, it was all about Watford and how much they could put their chances away. They got their chances, converted one of them. Unfortunately, it was only for a draw. But it means that they've got another point on the board compared to where they were a couple of weeks ago where they were still bottom of the table with no points. So that's the Women's Championship. And that's, that's how we're going to run out on this episode. In this episode. But... Catch me on the other side because I'm going to be talking about the North London Derby. Everything about it from the atmosphere, from the the game itself to the fans. I was there as a coach, but also as a, as a fan as well. Um, to it being on the TV to how it's going to impact the game, how it's going to impact Arsenal going forward. Now that they've dropped points and now that they're second in the table. Yours truly is signing off. I've been JBK. I hope you've had a great weekend. Peace. Join the Pitch Talk revolution. Check out the official Pitch Talk website. www.pitch-talk.com